Hey guys, so out here in West Virginia, um, doing some trail riding with a brand new talon that's not even mine. Um, this is a good spot. There's We're above the clouds, so it's a very, very beautiful scenery. Um, we're near Matawan, West Virginia, and I'm going to do a little yappy video because people like these and studies show that they actually help the channel, even though I wouldn't listen to it myself probably. But anyway, so um, the talon's doing really good out here. Didn't ride the dirt bike. Uh, Hefton McCoy, it's just too wet and too much puddles and clay and stuff. It's very, very muddy. Um, and yesterday it was cold and wet, and that's just not good dirt bike weather. But the side by side did great. Um, so, a few things I would probably do different uh, if I was going to bring my talent out here. Number one, I would definitely put the fender flares. Um, it got really muddy in the cabin. The front tires are constantly throwing dirt straight up in the air, which comes into your face if you're going like over 20. So, this got pretty covered in here. Um, and yet this is a brand new side by side that is my friends that I picked up for her in Tennessee Because uh, it finally came in and I was already in the area. So I had to break it in for her. Um, But it's pretty dirty. I need to clean it before she sees it She's gonna see this video and get really angry um, But it did awesome. No complaints um, More than capable enough in full stock form, but I definitely would add the fender flares and I would probably add a front windshield because it was raining yesterday and it was freezing in there. The problem is you put the windshield on it, the tires are going to throw mud onto you, you got to clean it constantly. So it'd probably be more annoying than anything. But when it's really, really cold and wet, I would deal with that annoyance to not be as cold and wet. I would get pretty soaked in there. Um, another thing I was looking at on the talon, if you're going to do some big rocks and stuff, the skid plates are okay for mudding, but right under the oil pan there, this is your oil pan, that's just a plastic skid plate. The frame cross members are here and here. Um, so you really don't have any real metal protection under your aluminum oil pan. So I would definitely, um, when I come back to these trails again, I'm going to put that aluminum skid or aluminum skid plate or some kind of metal skid plate under that oil pan. Um, other than that, the talent did great. Uh, did kind of wish I had heater on there. Um, and a full cab, like one of those defenders, the North stars. We had a guy with us, one of those that was pretty slick. Um, but the talent was awesome. The double clutch transmission, being able to select a lower gear going downhill for engine braking was great. The big time suspension travel to soak up the big whoops and, you know, you're in a corner, there's a little like watch out. Don't even slow down with the talent. Just bury your foot, hit it, and the suspension will soak it up, let it do the work. Um, it, the suspension is just really, really good and stuff for the rocks. The ride's a little bouncy and chattery. That's what everyone complains about. It's a little jittery. Um, it's not as compliant and smooth as some other ones. But as far as absorbing the big shocks that are going to make your back sore, it does a great job. Um, one thing that I would definitely recommend if you're going to come to West Virginia and do the Heffield McCoy trails or the outlaw trails is get the, um, get the ORUX maps app. It's a GPS app. It's like five bucks and then get the Bob T's trail maps. They're free trail maps. You can download online and load them into the, into the app. He's got a good how to PDF on his website for how to do that. It's super easy. And those maps were great yesterday. There's a few times we got a little confused where we were and, uh, he's got all the, all the, uh, approved trails and then a lot of the unapproved ones. Um, we're sticking to mostly the actual Hatfield McCoy routes for this trip because it's our first time out here. So uh, no need to, you know, go anywhere that's less than approved, right? There's more than enough trails to keep you entertained out here for weeks um, that are approved. So maybe next time I'll hit up some of the other stuff. But, um, of course, side-by-sides are street legal in West area of West, West Virginia, which is the best thing ever. Um, just imagine going somewhere that treated cyclists like they uh or that treated atv off-roaders like they do cyclists so there's signs everywhere welcoming you there uh, in the middle of town there's a railroad bridge they converted into an atv bridge so you can bypass parts of town if you want i mean there's signs everywhere saying ohvs are approved on the road so it's a very ohv friendly area um this is a major highway here king cole highway and there's a big trail on the side of it so you can drive atvs wherever you want and come look at this beautiful scenery so um best place ever i want to move here i love west virginia so far um and what else is I going to tell you guys? Um, Jeep's doing good. It's towing really well, getting decent gas mileage. Right now, obviously, I don't have quite enough tongue weight. You can just look at what the center mass of the talon is. Um, that's just because I want to take the talon off first, put the back in the front. Should really swap those for tongue weight reasons. Um, as far as towing the mountains with a V6 and something that's less aerodynamic than a cow, it's doing pretty good. It's getting better gas mileage than any um, heavy duty truck would be getting up here, right? So, uh, it's pretty efficient for this loading. Any any more trailer or si if you had two towns or whatever, you'd want at least a full-size truck, which is why my Dodge is on order. Should have that soon. Um, but it's really fun. I'm definitely going to miss it, being able to take the roof off and just cruise around and do the mild off-roading and stuff. Um, and it's pretty efficient. The one complaint, obviously, I keep saying with the Jeep, is the road noise is terrible. Um, so 
uh, not really the road noise, really the wind noise. So I keep it under 70, which is why I'm getting good gas mileage. Um, so far on this trip, which has been almost 2,000 miles of driving, I've averaged about 14 miles per gallon with this setup. So that's pretty amazing. Um, didn't take this in any of the Tefa McCoy trails. As you can see, my back tires are pretty worn down. Did a lot of street driving over the past two weeks. I did the Tail of the Dragon and a bunch of stuff like that in the North Carolina area, North Carolina, Tennessee border. Um, and the trails are too wet right now for this sort of tire. So I didn't even take the dirt bike and get it dirty yesterday um, because the Talon has much better tires for that sort of thing. And I would have busted my ass on the dirt bike about a hundred times. But um, overall, going really, really well. And I just can't get over how pretty it is. Unfortunately, we do have rain um, on the weather forecast for the next few days. So today might be our last super good day of riding, unfortunately. Um, yesterday morning, it rained a lot in the afternoon, got pretty. Today is just absolutely gorgeous so far. So hopefully we'll get on the trail soon, but I am waiting on the rest of my party, unfortunately. So um, yeah, that's about it for the Half of McCoy trail update.